of Sparkle, marking our biggest launch yet for 2022. Aptly named Sparkada, each member of Sparkle's newest Barkada was handpicked by renowned star maker Mr. M for their colorful backgrounds, not to mention their potential to be the next leading stars in showbiz. They then made their TV debut on All Out Sundays last April 17 with an explosive number where these up-and-comers shone brightly as they gave it their all on stage. If you are posting about this on social media, please don't forget to use our official hashtag, hashtag SparkleMediaCon. But before anything else, we would like to acknowledge the following GMA executives with us today. Starting with Ms. Tracy Garcia, Sparkle GMA Artist Center Senior Talent Manager. Mr. Daryl Zamora, Sparkle GMA Artist Center Senior Talent Manager. Ms. Jenny Donato, Senior Manager, Talent Development Unit. Ms. Joy Marcello, Sparkle GMA Artist Center, Assistant Vice President for Talent Management Unit 2. Mr. Lawrence Tan, Talent Imaging and Marketing Consulting Head. And of course, Mr. Johnny Manahan, Seasoned Star Maker and Sparkle GMA Artist Center Consultant. Now to show us their individual charms and to excite us even more, let us all watch the official Sparkada Summer video. And there you have it, the official Sparkada Summer video to the tune of Kung Ikaw Ang Kasama by Zephanie, which is officially on track to being a summer anthem. But before we move forward, we would like to acknowledge the presence of Mr. Vic Del Rosario, Sparkle GMA Artist Center Senior Talent Manager, and Ms. Gigi Santiago Lara, Senior Assistant Vice President for Alternative Productions. And now, without further ado, please welcome our Sparkada. Kirsten Gonzalez. And Xavier Ramos. As you guys can see, Savior will be able to join us this afternoon as he is currently in a lock-in taping for a new show. But now that you have met our Sparkada, I'm sure that you guys are itching to get to know them. So we may now proceed to our Q&A session this afternoon. I am now opening the floor to our friends from the press for any questions. We would also like to remind the press to please specify to whom the question is addressed since we do have a lot of artists with us. The first set of questions will come from Jimpy Anarcon of PEP. Jimpy, you now Hello have... po. Ayan. Thank you, Pea. Good, good afternoon, everyone, and congratulations to Sparkada. Gabi fresh faces, no? So, would like to ask lang everyone, lahat daw sa sagot. So, how did you feel when you found out that you will be part of Sparkada? And siguro ano sa tingin nyo yung nakita nila Mr. M and all the executives of Sparkle para makasama kayo sa Sparkad. So, okay, game. Uh, Anyone can start. Ayan. Ayan, so, sa totoo lang po, na-amaze pa rin mo, hindi, hindi ko pa rin na uh, in-expect talagang makakapunta ako dito. And, sobrang thank you talaga, ayan, kay Mr. M especially, dyan sa uh, napinahanpick niya ako. And, siguro may nakita siya ang isang bagay na hindi ko nakikita um, sa akin. So, maraming maraming pong salamat. Especially, thank you nga po pala Sa Sparkle JMA Artists, ayan. Kay Miss Gigi, kay Miss Joy, kay Sir Lau, ayan. At sa Sparkada uh, Management. At siyempre nga pala kay Sir Tyrone, sa aking manager. And sa team family ko. Maraming maraming pong salamat. Hi, good afternoon po. Um, ako po, sobrang saya, sobrang thankful kasi... Nagtiwala po sila sa akin and mas lalo po akong na-inspire. And for that, grateful po talaga ako sa buong Sparkle GMA Artist Center. Thank you. Ako naman po kasi I feel very honored. Pero at the same time, pressured po. Pero it's good pressure naman. Kasi may nakita si Mr. M and siguro challenge na rin yun sa akin na makita ko sa sarili ko yun. Yun naman po. Kaya maraming salamat po. Um, hello po everyone. Gaya po ng sinabi nila, ganun din yung nararamdaman ko. Sobrang saya and I feel so honored kasi kahit medyo bata pa po ako, naniwala sila sa mga kaya kong gawin. Kaya maraming salamat po. 
Well, I'm super grateful and thankful to be here po. A uh, big shout out to my management cornerstone, si Sir Erickson, Sir Jeff, and of course to Mr. M to seeing uh, a vision in me and potential. Maraming maraming salamat po. And of course to GMA Artist Sparkle, Artist Center, a big thank you po. Hello po everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon po. Um, I, it feels amazing. Um, I still feel overwhelmed. I feel really grateful because I know there is a reason why I was chosen to be a part of Sparkada and it is actually my motivation to strike and work hard every day. Thank you po. Maraming maraming salamat po. Ako naman, yung initial reaction ko nung nalaman ko maging Sparkada, yung kinikilig ako. Tapos hanggang kayo naramdam ko pa rin yung kilig. And... Siguro hanggang ngayon hindi po nag-sink in. Talaga ba? Sobrang blessed ko naman na makilala itong mga, <laughs> mga taong to na parang pamilya na rin sa akin. So, salamat GMA uh, and sa Sparkle sa na I have a new family dahil sa inyo. So, you know, honestly, I, wasn't, I was really shocked. I wasn't really expecting to be picked by Mr. M and his team. So, words really can't express how thankful I am. So, I just want to say thank you kanila Mr. M, Ms. Gigi, you know, Tita Grace, Miss Abby, for discovering me and being there every step of the way. You know, the whole, the whole Sparkle GMA Artist Center, we appreciate the work you do and thank you for believing in us. Thank you. Um, for me, honestly, I agree with everybody here. I'm very grateful where I am today and I'm so lucky to be a part of Sparkada. Um, uh, siempre, everything that Mr. M and his team, the Sparkle Artist Center, um, turns to gold. So I'm super excited for the future and I'm really thankful for everybody. Thank you so much. Opo, I'm so grateful and blessed na napili po ako sa isang mga ilalunch ka sa aming Sparkada. And I want to say thank you po kayo Mr. M kasi nakitaan nila ako ng potential na deserve ko to na malunch kasama yung mga taong to na magagaling at mahuhusay. Yeah. Yun. <laughs> Actually po, para sa akin, hanggang ngayon hindi pa rin ako makapaniwala kasi isa ako sa mga nahantik ni Mr. M. And I guess, yung nakita niya is yung, sabi niya nga, yung it factor. Ayun. So, sana makita niyo rin yun, mga kapuso, everyone. Ayan, sana ma-appreciate niyo kami. And, um, yeah, I'm so happy kasi wala lang akong sparkada but also a family dito. So, ayun. Maraming salamat po sa Sparkle, uh, GMA. Um, Management Center po. Uh, ako, sobrang saya. Sobrang saya na nakilala ko itong mga to. Sobrang thankful and sobrang blessed. Kasi nakakita sa akin si Mr. M ng something and yun yung parang nagiging motive ko to push, to push harder every single day. Kaya thank you so much GMA Sparkle Artist Center and sa lahat, sa Sparkada, sa management team, to Ms. Tracy, to Ms. Gigi, everyone po, thank you so much for having this, this opportunity. Sa akin po, ano, kagaya lang din po ng reactions nila. Sobrang saya ko po na napasama po ako sa kanila. Nagkaroon po ako ng second family. And sa tingin ko po, ang nakita ni Mr. M, for sure, is kasi po magkakasama kami sa workshop. So parang nakita nila kung paano kami magtulungan, kung paano kami mag-cheer yung isa't isa, lalo-lalo na pag kinakabahan. And more more pa. And sana po makita nyo din po yun sa amin. Thank you po. Uh, I was very emotional at that moment. Uh, Nakaka-proud sa sarili. And siguro yung best part dun is nung nakita ko yung mom ko na sobrang proud sa akin. It's a dream come true po. Yun lang po. Um, I feel very grateful po for... <laughs> I feel very grateful po because we get to um, learn and grow together through this journey. And everyone's been working hard for this moment na. And finally, we're all together. And I love, I love and appreciate every single person na made this possible po. I would like to thank Sparkle GMA Artist Center and my Sparkada family for giving um, this opportunity. Yun lang po. 
Uh, ako naman po, uh, <laughs> I'm so blessed na mabilong sa group na to, sa Sparkada ako. And ayun po, super thankful po ako, kagaya po nilang lahat, sa support na pinakita and also sa tiwala. Siyempre, uh, especially sa management team, sa manager ko, si Ms. Tracy, sila Mr. M. Sobrang thankful po ako na nahanpik, isa ako sa nahanpik. And ayun po, sobrang... Di, di, ako na, di pa ako naka, like, hindi pa sumisink in sa akin ka, uh, hanggang ngayon. Kasi, um, thinking na, na si Mr. M mismo yung pumili sa akin, uh, it's, a, it's, it's a great honor po. And, ayun, thankful ako na I have my brothers and sisters here na tinuring ko na parang pamilya ko na. Ayun, <laughs> thank you so much po. Yeah, thank you everyone and congratulations. Pero ito, of course, we would like to ask po Mr. M no, and anyone pro from Sparkle, paano po yung naging process in choosing them itong bagong batch po ng Sparkle Artists? And siguro po ano na rin yung nakita ninyo na tinatanong natin kanina kung ba't sila yung lucky 17 na napili sa Sparkada? Okay, Mr. M po or Ms. Gigi or anyone po from Sparkle. All right, Jim P, thank you so much for your question. We'll sir, okay. Ayan. Hello po, Mr. M. Hi, hello. Um, could you ask, what's the question again? Medyo nagulat ako kasi akala ko hindi ako kasali dito. <laughs> Sorry po, Mr. M. Pero paano po yung ano, naging process po ninyo and ano po siguro yung nakita ninyo sa kanila na sila yung naging lucky 17 po to be part of Sparkada, the new, new batch of GMA artists? Yeah, kasi of course, meron yung mga auditions. Um, dumaan sila sa mga mga tatlo, apat na, ano, na go-sees. Um, at doon, um, Little by little, siyempre, makikita mo kung yung ma-appreciate mo yung mga special qualities nila. Lalo na yung sinasabi ko ano, yung it, yung X factor. Um, tapos dumaan rin sa, ano, sa, sa isang, ano, isang uh, uh, quorum of uh, judges. Or, and uh, sila rin may, ano, meron silang, ano, uh, participation due to the process. Um, but like I said, with these people, parang nahalata ko kaagad eh. Na nakita ko kaagad eh. And um, they're uh, representatives of their uh, generation kasi media savvy sila. Alam na alam nila yan eh. And uh, they're not shy at all. Even the shyest of them um, is uh, knows how to you know, present herself very confident. Um, ayun yun sa dulo, yung uh, young lady sa dulo sa kanan, si, uh, si Kristen, yan. You know, muntik na umiyak yan kasi siya ay, pero pag sumayaw yan, hataw. Okay? Good. <laughs> All right. Yeah, thank you so much po, Mr. M. And again, congratulations to Sparkada. And thank you po for answering my questions. Thank yeah, you, thank Thea. Thank you, Jim P. Next up, we have Don Don Sermino of Abante. And okay, magandang tanghali. Dali, hanapin question to kasi allowed lang daw ng two eh. For ano muna, for, for Rahil, tama ba yung spell? Ayan. Rahil. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Ayan. So okay. nakalagay kasi nakalagay kasi sa profile mo dito, base dito eh ikaw daw ang showbiz next high how, how do you feel about it? Pressure ba 'yon uh, talaga? Syempre, andun po yung pressure and hindi po mawawala 'yon. But it's a good challenge for me. I really like being challenged. So, I'm going to give it my all. I'm going to show my fighting spirit and show you what I can do. You know? yeah. Yeah. And then si Likin naman, next question to for Likin. Likin kasi ang strength mo raw ay music and guitar. So 
Ngayon ba, sinong kapuso na singer na agad ang gusto mo maka- maka-collab? And at the same time, sige, ano yun na natin? Gawin na natin sweet yung question. Yung gusto mo na rin haranahin at the same time. Uh, actually po, ang gusto ko maka-collab, sila Jeff and sila Jeff, sila Savior. Yung mga ano dito, mga kasama ko sa Sparkada kasi magagaling sila kumanta. And ang tagal na rin po namin gusto gumawa ng covers, mga kanta. So yun, na-enjoy ko po talaga. And to answer your last question, <laughs> sino nga ba? <laughs> um, lahat ng Sparkada girls. Karanayin ko sila. <laughs> Ayan, safe na safe. Anyway, thank you very much. Marami para magtatanong. Maraming salamat. Eh. Thank you, Sir Dondo. Next up, we have Jerry Donato of Phil Star, but I'll be asking the question on his behalf. This question is for Anjay Anson, Vanessa Peña, Delec Montemayor, and Vince Maristela in that order. As Sparkle artists, what are your strengths, talent, and personality-wise? And what do you think is the perfect TV assignment that will jumpstart your career? Let's start with Anjay. Um, ako kasi personally, I am a hardworking person. Um, gusto ko lagi na nato-challenge din ako and sobrang curious din ako na tao. Um, as of now, pinapractice ko muna yung mga talents ko. I've been attending workshops, ganyan. And... Feeling ko yung role na maganda is uh, to be a lead sa drama na ano, sa drama na series or kaya movie, di ba? Uh, kasi doon ko makikita kung hanggang saan yung capabilities ko and kung hanggang saan, kung ano pa yung mga pwede kong matutunan. Yeah. <laughs> Ako po, ano, um, strength ko po sa pag-acting is syempre po yung naranasan ko, yung journey ko po bago po ako makapunta dito. Yun po yung nagbibigay sa akin ng lakas. And, of course, yung mommy ko po. Kasi gustong-gusto niya talaga yung nakikita niya ako sa TV na parang nagpo-perform, umaarte. And, pag nakikita ko po siya, like, sobrang saya ko. Like, y- yung overwhelming gan po. And, yung role po na ano ko is yung inaape <laughs> Hindi, yung inaape, eh. gusto ko po yung parang sasampal-sampalin po ako, yung mga, hindi, totoo, gusto ko po yun, yung mga ape. <laughs> Hi po, good afternoon. Ako naman po, ako kasi yung taong, I love learning new things. So personality-wise, open po ako sa mga challenges. Uh, also sa mga comments, feedbacks, para continuous po lagi yung pag-grow and pag-improve ko sa sarili. And I love acting. So in the future, syempre gusto ko po makasama sa isang teleserye. Um, role naman po, any role naman po, pero like syempre gusto ko lead role sana. Any role naman, open po ako. Drama or fantasy like Encantadja, yung mga ganun po. Thank you. Uh, I can say na I'm an adaptable person. Uh, I, I adapt well to change. Uh, wala po ako pinipiling mga taong kataba- katrabaho. Uh, mataas man yan o mababa. Same lang po yung pagtrato ko sa kanila. Uh, kung mabigyan po ako ng opportunity na mab- ng gumampan ng isang project, uh, gusto ko po sana is uh, rom-com. Uh, kasi feeling ko pasok sa personality ko. Ano, yun lang po. Funny kasi ako eh. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys. I sure hope that you land all of those dream roles very, very soon. Let's now move on to questions from our bloggers from Random Republica. We have Kate Adahar. Hello po. Um, for Roxy Smith po, uh, kailan mo na-realize na gusto mo mag-artista? Like, anong mga sinubukan mo before going in this journey sa Sparkle? Na-realize ko na sobrang gusto ko po maging artista. Alam mo yung sobrang pagpangit yung araw mo, pag feeling mo guguhan na, guguhan na yung mundo mo, tapos pag uwi mo, bubuksan, yung, bubuksan mo yung TV mo, papanoorin mo yung, teles, yung serye, Tapos, parang nawala na lahat. Nawala na lahat ng problema mo. Yun yung saya na nabibigay ng isang artista. Yun yung nakikita kong um, parang siyang service. 
And I want to, yun, yun yung, I, that's how I want to live my life. Live a life of service. And gusto ko magpasaya ng tao sa pag-aarte. Eh, yung next question po, yung ano sinubukan mo po before going in this journey sa Sparkle? Mga tinaray niyo po things bago kayo nag-audition sa Sparkle? Okay, so bago po ako nag-audition for Sparkle, I was actually discovered by with true pageantry. And um, I was also into commercial. So doon po ako na-develop. And nag-teatro din po ako. Teatrong Tatak Palace. So ayun po. Okay, thank you po. For Jeff Moses naman po, when you were launched po on All Out Sundays, we saw that you weren't part of the number because you got injured during rehearsals. Can you tell us what happened? Um, bale po nung time na yon, uh, before po nung take na, uh, na disgrasya po ako uh, while doing our stunt. Nag side drilling po ako and then suddenly po nung pagland ko, uh, may narinig ako na may nagclick, parang may nagpap po. So ayun, unfortunately, uh, na injured na injured po ako and then I wasn't able to perform na po on stage. Um, how does it feel na hindi ka how, how did it feel na hindi ka nakapag-perform? Tapos kamusta naman yung injury mo ngayon? Ah, uh, syempre po sobrang sad ko na knowing na parang naiwan ko yung sparkada ko na hindi ako nakapag-perform with them. And uh, still masaya rin po kasi uh, kahit pa paano hindi naman like sobrang major yung nangyari. Thank God. And Ayun po, um, recovering naman po, and inaantay ko na lang yung uh, advice ng doctor kung ano yung process para totally mahil na yung injury ko. Thank you. Thank you, Kate. Next up, we have MJ De Leon of Glit. Hello, guys. Hello. Good afternoon. Um... Yeah, um, I'll direct my first question to Vince. Um, Vince, um, share, can you share to us you know, that moment when it announced that uh, you're part of the Sparkada? What did you feel? Ano yung first na pumasok sa isip mo? Uh, yung unang pumasok sa isip ko is yung parents ko. Uh, inisip ko talaga sila kasi ever since nung bata ko, uh, pangarap ko na po talaga siya and parati ko siya sinasabi, parati ko sinasabi sa parents ko na gusto ko maging artista, ganun. So, nung natanggap ko na yung balita, di ako makapaniwala, sobrang thankful, sobrang gusto kong pasalamat kay Mr. M, kay Miss Gigi, kay Miss Mariol. Yun lang po. Sa management ko po, sa Sparkle, yun po. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Vince. Parang napaka-ano, napaka-emotional ng moment. Uh, thank you. Next question is for Michael and for Caitlin. Uh, sa ayon sa sobrang daming artista right now you know with the perfect faces with the perfect body how do you plan to stand out yeah well it's hard to predict the future po of course since there are lots of artists but i know one thing for sure is that i will work hard put in all my effort hard work and time to really stand out and of course i believe in the quote hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard so i live by that po thank you that's a good quote. Si Caitlin. Um, for me, I agree with Michael here saying that you can't really tell the future. But for me, I feel that what really makes me stand out is that team player talaga ako. I come from sports. I ride horses as well as playing soccer. So I consider myself to be friendly, witty, and have good charisma. Thank you, Paul. Ayan. <laughs> nice answers. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Thea. Thank you, MJ. Next up, we have Rocky Batara of Runner Rocky. Hello po, good afternoon. Uh, my, first, my first set of questions ko para kay Ang Jay Anson and Tanya Ramos. So, did your celebrity parents ba or celebrity relatives influence your decision to enter showbiz? And what are their advices to you? Unahin natin kay Ang Jay. Um, actually, uh, screen name ko lang po ang Ang Jay Anson. My real name is Ang Jay Mandiani. I am half Filipino, half Indian. Uh, yung mom ko is Filipina and yung dad ko naman is yung Indian. Uh, Nag-decide kami na palitan yung name ko kasi medyo nahihirapan i-pronounce. 
And yun, kaya, actually yung Anson, yung name na yun, is from my friend, uh, which is yung relative niya, sila Miss Boots Anson Roa. Um, yung pinaka nag-inspire naman sa akin para i-push ako dito sa showbiz is yung mother ko. Uh, sobrang sinasabi niya sa akin na, kaya mo yan, nak, lagi mong iisipin, nandito lang ako nagsusuporta sa'yo. And ramdam na ramdam ko yun every time na, ano, na sinasabi niya yun. And nakikita ko rin yung support niya na sa pagpapanood sa akin, ganyan. Um, ang pinaka-inspirational na sinabi sa akin ni Mr. Wendell Ramos, actually, mm -hmm. uh, family friend din namin siya. Uh, ang pinaka-inspirational na sinabi niya sa akin is, always be humble and always put your feet on the ground. Kahit gano'n ka pa sumikat, dapat lagi kang humble. Yeah. Thank you, Angie. Para naman kay Tanya, Yes, ano yung hello. naging, yes, ano yung naging influence sa'yo ng dad mo, si Mr. Wendell Ramos, and yung advice niya sa'yo? I can say po na my dad influenced me talaga to enter showbiz, pero ang sinabi niya po sa akin is that na sa sa'kin po yung desisyon. Pero kinuha ko po yung opportunity na yun. And ang advice niya po sa akin is that to always take my work seriously if I want my career to last. So hanggang ngayon, yun po yung, until, uh, yun po yung pumapasok sa isip ko when I, wherever I go, especially when he's not around. So, yun po. Salamat po. Oh, thank you, Tanya. Yung second and last question ko naman, para kay Kim Perez. So, Kim, marami mga spark or artist ang very talented ngayon. So, personally, sa ang talent mo gusto mong makilala ka? At anong talent pa ang gusto mo namang ma-improve? Uh, yes. Uh, sa totoo lang, gusto ko po talaga uh, mas makilala po ko sa acting kasi... <clears throat> Uh, personally, idol ko po si, si Sir John Lloyd Cruz po. Ayan, sobrang uh, namamanga ako sa pag-acting niya. Napaka-convincing. Napakagaling niya umarte. Halos lahat po ng movie niya, Blockbuster. Talagang yeah, ina-admire ko siya sa, sa pag-acting. Parang doon po talaga na, na, ano, na, na inspire ako na gusto ko sa acting din ako makilala. At syempre, uh, baka po, uh, ano, by the chance, gusto, gusto ko din po mapakita na yung uh, skills ko sa pagkanta, sa pagsayaw, di ba? Malay nyo, uh, <laughs> alam nyo, ma-regular ma ako sa AOS, di ba? Why? <laughs> why? Why not, di ba? And, and syempre, uh, sa hosting din po, kung papala rin po, bibigyan din po ako dyan sa mga pag-workshop. Yeah, and sa improving naman po sa aking uh, my skills and talents, lahat, na, lahat naman po yun kailangan ko pa pong i-improve. Eh, naniniwala po ako na marami pa po akong dapat kailangan matutunan as a new artist. At the same time po, um, uh, uh, kagaya po ng mga ano, batika na actor, na kailangan din uh, uh, continuous po yung workshop kasi malang, marami pang dapat matutunan sa industry na ito. Marami marami pong salamat. Eh, at siyempre nga po pala, thank you po pala sa Sparka Jamer Artist ayan, sa mga workshop na binibigay sa amin. Sobrang... Ah, uh, nakakatulong po 'yon para mabila pang aming sarili. Thank you so much po. Thank you Kim and thank you guys. Congratulations. All right. Thank you Rocky. Next up from Chicanes, we have Albert Bryan. Hey, mabuhay. Congratulations everyone. And thank you Thea. And yung first question ko for ano for Lorene and Kirsten. Tama ba, Lorene? Or ba, ako baka mali yung pagkakapronounce. Lorene. Lorene po. Lorene. Lorene po. Ayun. Yun. Um, si, anong tawag nito? Parang banking on the question earlier then. Parang who serves as your inspiration in entering the show business? And how did that person felt na finally itong dream na to along with that person ay nangyayari na with Sparkle? Uh, medyo cheesy man pong pakinggan, pero ang nag-inspire sa akin nung bata pa ako, yung kids show na High Five. And mm. after, yes. Tapos after po noon, palagi na akong um, nagpa-practice mag-isa, nag-acting, and napansin po yun ng mami ko. Kaya, ayun, encourage na po ako na mag-audition. At ayun, nakuha nga po ako dito. So very thankful ako. And lalo na si mami, sobrang proud niya sa akin and sobrang Masaya ako kasi uh, magkasama namin tinutupad yung mga pangarap namin sa buhay. Ayun po. Thank you. It's good to hear. Thank you, Lauren. Kirsten. Hello po. Um, my biggest question po um, in entering showbiz would be my family po. 
Um, matagal ko na po pangarap na maging artista and my family, they did everything and wala na po silang ginawa kundi bigyan ako ng pagmamahal at suporta sa mga gusto ko pong gawin and uh, um, being an artist po, I need motivation po and I having a good um, support system is motivating me more to pursue my career and do better in everything I do. So I'm very thankful na God um, gave me such a good family and a good support system to do whatever I love. Yun lang po. You're so blessed, Christy, Kirsten, to have that kind of support system. Thank you so much. And yung next set of questions ko naman for Shan and ano, si Shan and si Cheska. Ayan. Um, how did you, pre- ano, pa, ano yung mga naging preparations ninyo before and before kayo ni-launch as parkada like dun sa music video ninyo and of course when you were launched in EOS last Sunday. Ayan po. Um, bago po kasi kaming ni-launch, um, we really went to intensive training po talaga. Halos every single day, um, nag-workshop po kami uh, sa acting, singing, dancing, and even in communications. Kasi meron sa amin dito, like parang uh, nag-English talaga lagi. So, kailangan namin matutong mag-Tagalog talaga. So, ayun. And also, ayan, salamat sa Sparkle, um, GMA Artist Center, and of course, sa talent uh, talent development teams for um, giving us the workshops. Ayan. Uh, dahil kailangan po talaga namin yun para mas prepared pa po kami or mas handa kami para sa inyo pong lahat. So, yun. Thank you, Cheska. Sean. Hello po. Uh, to add to what Cheska said lang po, siguro po yung underrated fact is yung preparation mentally to put us in the right mindset kasi ang dami nang gagawin and sa tut- tutuusin lang kasi napakabilis ng pangyayari, napaka-overwhelming ng feelings. Siyempre, nakatulong rin yung Sparkle Jimmy Artist Center so putting us in the right mindset and to put um, magandang mental health lang. Yun lang po. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sean. Thank you so much. And shout out pala kay Michael. I'm so proud of you. Natuwa ako na parang months ago, in-interview lang kita. Tapos ngayon, wow, Spark, part of Sparka. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Thea. Good luck to all, all right. Thank you so much, Albert. Last question from Miss Rose Garcia of PEP. And once again, I'll be reading the question on her behalf. And this question is for everyone. Ano ang maiyo offer mo para masabi ng GMA Sparkle na hindi sila nagkamali sa pagpili sa yo at hindi masayang ang pagbuild up ng management sa yo? Let's start with Kim. Um, siguro ito na lang gagawin ko yung uh, uh, the best ko na magampan ng lahat ng mga bagay na dapat ipapagawa sa akin, even just sa mga workshop. Kasi naniniwala ko number one eh, yung uh, obedience, lalo na sa time sa mga workshops, sa mga pinapagawa sa akin. And always, uh, uh, maging humble all the time, malabas at sa loob man yan ng, uh, uh, ng showbiz. Kailangan po yan. And yun lamang po, maraming pong salamat. Ako po, siyempre full effort and commitment talaga. So, I will give my full heart in this job po kasi gusto ko talaga to and of course hindi po sila magsisisi na binigyan tong chance sa akin. Thank you. Uh, sa akin naman po kasi yun nga yung sinabi nila just put the work in tsaka just be a sponge po absorb all the information that you can get and just learn from it. Yun lang po. Thank you. Ako naman po hindi ako magbabago palaging handang matuto kahit sinasabi nilang magaling, hindi pa rin yung tama. Parang, syempre, kailangan pa rin palaging nag-attend ng mga workshops para mas mag-improve pa yung mga talent ko. And syempre, ipagpatuloy ko yung pagiging isang mabuting tao kasi pag isa kang mabuting tao, magiging isa kang mabuting actress. Thank you po. Ako naman po, well, I want to showcase my talents of singing, dancing, acting, and hosting po to provide entertainment sa mga kapuso natin. 
And of course, I want to continue to work hard and provide um, happiness for everybody. And uh, yeah, yun lang po. Thank you. Yeah! Ako naman po, as my dad said, I should always take my work seriously. And yun nga po, hindi lang po, aside from my showcasing my talents, gusto ko rin po ipakita yung pagiging mabuting tao kung paano po ako pinalaki ng aking magulang. So, yun lang po. Maraming pong salamat. Ako naman po, yung turo kasi sa akin ng mom ko, when you do something, do it with all your heart. Mamahalin ko lang yung craft ko, mamahalin ko lang yung trabaho ko, and I hope maganda yung magiging reflection nun. Ayan, so. Um, Nakaka-excite, solid. Okay. <laughs> Kailangan ko lang ilabas. Kanina pa ako nagpipigil eh. <laughs> Nakaka-excite lang. So, ako naman, like, I just want to say na, you know, we should always be learning every day, strive to become better versions of ourselves, you know, tapos never forget na, you know, where you've come from, siyo nagtulong sa'yo, who was with you on your lowest, tapos, ayun, always be humble lang. Ayun. Advice that's been given by all of our workshop teachers for singing, dancing, acting lahat, always give our 100%. Um, so I will do that, of course, and I also hope to inspire others who want to be an artista or who want to reach their dreams. If I can do it, so can you. Ako po ang mabibigay. Ako po ang mabibigay ko ay yung dedication at effort ko sa trabaho ko. Lalo na gusto ko po maka-inspire ng tao na gawin lang yung mga bagay na sasaya sila as long as di sila nakaapak ng tao and na makamit nila lahat ng pangarap nila as long as pinagsisikapan talaga. Ayan. So, para sa akin naman, uh, lagi talaga akong nire-remind ng uh, manager ko na ang daming mag magaganda, magugwapo talaga na artista, magagaling, or mas magaling pa sa'yo. Pero yung nangingibabaw talaga sa lahat is yung puso, magandang puso. So, I think one of the things talaga na magpapatagal sa akin dito is yung Mabayat akong tao, lahat binabati ko, ayan, dahil sobra ka mang magaling, pero pag hindi ka naman gustong katrabaho ng uh, mga team, then hindi ka tatagal sa industriya. So yun, magandang puso lang po lagi. Uh, for me, uh, ako kasi sobrang committed ako once na magkaroon ako ng work, and sobrang pinofocus ko talaga yung sarili ko in improving myself, uh, and in experiencing different things. Uh, yun. So I'll always stay committed dito sa work ko na to. Sa akin po, um, yung kung paano po ako makipagtrabaho. Ma Tama ba? Kung paano ako makipagtrabaho. Tama ba? Tama! Yeah. Tama! <laughs> Tama! Kung paano po ako makipagtrabaho. Yung sobrang open po kasi ako sa mga feedback. So, Gustong-gusto ko po talaga marinig yung opinion nyo, lalo na pagdating sa performances ko po. Kasi doon ko po nalalaman ko ano yung mga bagay na kailangan kong bawasan or dagdagan para mas gumanda po yung trabaho. Thank you po. Uh, ako naman po, uh, naniniwala ako doon sinabi ni Larkin na, na learning never stops. Uh, ganun din po kasi yung pananaw ko sa buhay na lahat ng bagay da dapat matutunan and para sa ikabubuti natin. And para sa akin din na uh, yun nga, kasama na din yung hard work, yung dedication, yun lang po. Sa akin naman po, um, my confidence in my skills and my talent po. Um, when you're confident po, you can do anything. Hindi ka pong matatakot mag-try ng new things. So, you can master anything you can put your mind into po. Uh, for me naman po, uh, I will showcase my talent, yung pagsayaw ko, pagkanta, sa pag-acting, and also I want to try hosting din. Um, and also, um, I will be a good listener po. Uh, yes, I will listen to feedback, and I will follow instruction po. And makikinig po ako sa lahat ng tao, sa sasabihin nila. And I will put it to work. Para may... Para masaya lang, syempre. <laughs> Di ba? My guy. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Yes, 
All right, and that concludes our Q&A. Thank you so much to all of our friends from the press for gracing our event, for all of your insightful questions, and helping us get to know the Sparkada even more. But before we end, I would like to thank the following partners for making this event possible. Laresha Resorts, Nice Print Photo, H&M, Xiaomi Philippines, McDonald's, I Am Worldwide Corporation, Unilever Philippines, DBC Alvarez, NC Tours, Copper Mask Philippines, Little Lunas Bake Shop, Ilos Party Trays, XO Candy, Great Taste Coffee, Granny Goose, Blue, Cremo, Nips, Max, Cloud9, Sahar Pharma, and Nix Institute of Beauty. And now may I ask our Sparkada to promote their upcoming projects and you may also plug your social media handles as well. Once again, let's start with Kim Perez. Ayan, so search nyo lang, search nyo lamang po sa Facebook, Kim Perez. Oh, or, sa, or sa aking uh, official uh, Facebook page, ang Kim Perez official. Yan, kung meron po kayo IG, search nyo lang po, Mr. Dat Kim Perez. Kung meron po yung Kumu, Ah, uh, ayan. Mr. Dad, Kim Perez, kung gusto niyo pong malaman yung uh, different side ko, yan, pwede po kayo manood doon. So, hello nga po pala sa aking handler yan, si Ate Sab. Hello po. Hi po. Again, ako po si Dilek Montemayor and my social media, you can follow me at at Dilek Marie. Thank you. Technical difficulties. Joke. Um, Sean Lucas po. Uh, you can follow me sa lahat po ng so social media at Sean Lucas underscore. Um, ayun po, my name is Lauren King. At kung may Facebook man kayo, you can add me. Um, ang name ko po doon ay Lauren King and ang Facebook page ko. Meron din po kong TikTok and Instagram. You can follow them at k underscore Lauren zero eight. Thank you, Pa. Hello, Pa. If you want to follow me on Instagram and on Twitter, Pa, Michael Sager underscore. But if you want my more kulit side, you could follow me on TikTok and on Kumu at MX Sager. Thank you. Hello, Pa. I'm Tanya Ramos. And you can check out my IG account at Tanya Sabal Ramos. And you can also watch my TikTok videos where I always do dancing, Tanya Ramos. So. Okay, so I just transitioned into Roxy Smith. So Roxy Smith, na ngayon, I, I hope you could follow my socials. And uh, flex ko na rin yung Roxy Babies ko kasi mas nagpo-post pa sila ng update kaysa sa akin. So do follow Roxy Babies to be updated. Thank you. So... So, um, yung Instagram ko, follow me, rahil.biria, B-H-Y-R-I-A. Tapos yung TikTok ko is clean with a K, papi. Thank you. You can follow me on my social medias. All of them are at Caitlin S. Stave. Thank you, po. I'm Larkin Gastor, and you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok at Lark Larkin Gastor. And on Instagram at Largsman. Hi, po. I'm Cheska Fausto. You can follow me on Instagram at That's Cheska. You can also follow my YouTube and Facebook account, Cheska Fausto, lang po. And also Twitter at That's Cheska. Maraming salamat po. Uh, hello, this is Anjay Anson. Uh, please follow my Facebook page, Anjay Anson. Um, yung Instagram ko, underscore Anjay Anson, and yung TikTok ko rin is Anjay Anson. And guys, please follow nyo rin yung Anjay Natix. Thank you. Hello po, ako po si Vanessa Peña. Kung gusto nyo pa po akong makilala pa, follow nyo po ako sa aking TikTok account, Vanessa underscore Peña. And my IG po, Vanessa underscore Peña. Thank you po. Hi, my name is Vince Maristella. You can, you guys can follow me on Instagram at Vince Maristella. Yun lang po. Hi, my 
my name is Kirsten Gonzalez. You can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Kirsten Gonzalez underscore. Thank you. Hi guys, I am Jeff Moses, and you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Jeff Moses underscore, and also sa Facebook then and Twitter as Jeff Moses. Thank you so much. All right, if you want to be even more updated with the Sparkada, you can do so by following Sparkle GMA Artist Center on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok. Just, you just have to look for the verified mark. May I now invite the artists and members of the press to turn on their cameras for a quick photo op. All right, and that ends this afternoon's media conference. Thank you so much to everyone for joining us, especially to our friends from the press. We are definitely excited for what's in store for the Sparkada. So take down their names, memorize their faces. I'm sure you will see all of them again really soon as they start to make their mark in the industry. Once again, I'm Thea Astley, your host, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the day, mga kapuso. Stay safe, everyone. Yeah.